Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Nikkei reaction. Today we have Indivilia, the boss theme, but the second phase? I'll admit I have no clue what this song is, what the first phase even was. Nobody asked for this. I just saw a Cosmograph and I clicked. So that's where we are, and I don't know what to expect here, what the vibe's gonna be. Obviously, I know Cosmograph's sound, but he tends to change it up every once in a while, so I guess I won't know really what I'm getting into until we get there. So let's go. Ooh, oh. Ooh. Okay. That was a bit of a curveball. <laughs> Ooh. And lyrics. I don't know why I didn't expect lyrics. It's been a minute since I've heard something from this part of the world. At the very least, the uh, general melody of this. It's really fun. It's like K-pop India pop. <laughs> like Bollywood fusion going on here. I love this. <laughs> it's not in any way the genre I was expecting. But I love hearing these blends that people put together. I've heard this one a few times as far as the whole like Bollywood blend goes, but everyone focuses on different parts. And so it's always really fun to see what it turns into. <laughs> Like, this one's a little bit more pop-heavy than the other ones that I've heard. I don't know, I'm just kind of chilling on this one. <laughs> Loving that synth bass, too. Cosmograph and his synth bases. Really smooth. Nice. All right. So like I said a few times, it's been a while since I've heard this specific blend of sounds, this sort of like pop Bollywood flair in there. I love this sound. I love things that are traditional being brought into the modern light. And I think the last time I had heard this was probably stuff from the Sumeru region of Genshin Impact soundtrack. And I love those too for the exact same reason. A lot of them are very traditional and some of them are more like this where they have the blend happening, especially boss themes in that area, where it's Sumerian, right? Like Sumeru is rooted from Sumerian, which is basically largely the Middle East known today. So you get a lot of Turkey, Iran, you get Egypt, you get a little bit of everything over there, India included. And this sound that comes from that area of the world is so iconic, just like every major region in history has a very distinct sound in their culture. Their traditional instruments are so unique to each area, even though some of them do share some qualities. For example, a lot of like stringed instruments share many qualities across many regions, but especially between like the Middle East and India, as well as Asia. There's just a lot of crossover there, probably because there were a lot of trade routes back then in those areas directly connected. So you get this very distinct sound from each distinct 
portion of the world. And I just love hearing that blend and I love hearing the different takes on it, like I said. So hearing things like this, which has a very distinct sound to me, it sounds like K-pop specifically being blended with traditional instruments of India. I don't know if the intent was to sound like K-pop, but the sound design overall had a lot of parallels to the K-pop scene. And admittedly, I haven't really heard much modern pop from India. So this might just be the sound that comes from that area. And that's where the inspiration is coming from. But at very least for me, this feels like a K-pop India Bollywood blend. I really like how this sounds. But aside from just nerding out about the blend, I really don't know if I have much else to say about this song, weirdly enough. Uh, the lyrics are pretty simplistic about what I would expect out of a song for a game like this. Arknights falls into that trap as well. Every game does. You kind of just get to these lyrics that while they sound good and they fit the story, there's not really much to break down between. The one exception being like Library of Runa and basically everything that Millie has ever worked on has so much nuance to it. Whereas a lot of these are just very straightforward with what they're trying to say. So there's not much to break down. As far as the other production stuff, in general, it's a Cosmograph track. He hits the nail on the head dead center like always and his production quality is just so crisp. There's no excess crap flubbing around the sound space. It's really clean. I loved in this one, I mentioned the bass underneath everything that synth bass it was this very solid like sine wave bass that just kind of sat and held up the entire song as a presence of course moving up and down notes as needed but overall I really don't remember it dropping out much except for maybe one of the breaks in the middle it was just that it's just always there just resonating really heavy leaving that in your soul so you're never forgetting where you are in the song it does its job as a bass line and keeps you tied into everything else. It acts both as a rhythm section and as a melodic support. It's a very good bass. But I think that's about all I can say. So thank you all so very much for watching. I'm sure this one is probably a little bit underwhelming to some of you and I apologize. But like I said, nobody really wanted me to listen to this. I just saw Cosmo and I'm like, so here we are, and I'm sure there'll be more recommendations going forward. It's been a while since I've gotten to a Nikkei song, so I'm sure there's going to be people who want me to listen to specific things. I just haven't seen that many comments about it lately, so I've been doing other things and prioritizing those. But if you leave a comment down below with what I should get to next, I will do my best as always. And if you just like this video and you want to follow me and support me for more of that in the future, you know how to do all that. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!